Rabbi Dennis Sasso, and I am here at Congregation Beth El Tzedek in Indianapolis, Indiana, with my dear colleague, Cantor Melissa Cohen, and with Charles Manning accompanying us at the organ. And we are grateful to Jackie Goldstein, our communications director, for bringing you this virtual Shabbat service. Even though we cannot gather together in the synagogue during these weeks, we want to share this Shabbat moment with you. We bring you this Shabbat live as a gift of peace and comfort during these trying and anxious times. Being separated does not mean that we need to be disconnected. We are bound together by our hopes, by our memories, and by the beauty of our faith traditions. So whether you are at your table, or in your family room, or in your living room, or even in your bedroom, settle down, relax, and breathe in the special soul of Shabbat. Even though we cannot reach out with our hands, let us reach out with our hearts and with our words to share in the sacredness of this time. We will begin this Shabbat experience with the meal ritual, and then we will be moving to a brief Shabbat evening service. Those of you who have at home the Sidur Lev Shalem are welcome to follow us as we announce pages. You may also access the Sidur Lev Shalem through a link PDF that can be found in the description of this video. So welcome to our Shabbat experience. We will begin with the blessing over the Shabbat candles as we usher the warmth of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kideshanu b'mitzvotav v'tivanu lehazlik ne'eshel Shabbat. Blessed is the eternal our God who sanctifies our lives joining us to bless the Shabbat lights. We welcome Shabbat with light, we welcome Shabbat with joy and song. And so we turn now to the Kiddush, the prayer that sanctifies Shabbat over the joy of the cup of wine. Page four, I'm sorry, page 76 in your Sidur Lev Shalom. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Boreh Peri Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu Bemitzvotav Averatzavahanu Veshabbat Kocho Please go ahead and join us 
We have, as in keeping with tradition, two chalot, a reminder of the traditions of observing and of keeping Shabbat. So we say together, Baruch Atah Adonai Elokeinu Melech HaOlam Anotzilechem Min HaHaretz Amen. And we encourage you during these days to have your challah pre-sliced pre and pass it around the members of the family. Shabbat Shalom. Teamon. There's a beautiful Shabbat and festival custom of blessing our children. And uh, many of us are home with our children, trying to find during the past uh, weeks ways of keeping them entertained and engaged. Well, here's our opportunity to wish our children health and joys and uh, uh, finding meaningful things to do in the week ahead. Let us place our hands over our sons and we say, in keeping with the ancient custom, Yesimcha Elohim Ke'ebraim Dechimenashe. May God bless you as Ephraim and Menasseh, the sons of Joseph who built the house of Israel. And uh, to our daughters we say, Yesimech Elohim May God bless you as he blessed our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, who built the house of Israel. And upon our family and all the community and all our loved ones and our nation and the whole world, the blessing for peace. May God bless you and keep you. May God be gracious to you and show you kindness. May God look with favor upon us and grant us all a Shabbat of joys and peace, a life of health and joys and peace. Amen. So we turn now to significant moments in the ritual of Shabbat, and of course, one of the most beloved songs is Lecha Dodi, we welcome the presence of the Shabbat Queen, Shabbat Bride, in our homes and in our hearts. We will sing the first and the last verses of the traditional Lecha Dodi prayer, as you are following in your Lev Shalev prayer book, pages 23 and then 25. <laughs>
friends and extend an appropriate expression of greeting and shalom, raise your hands and say shalom. Make the letter shin in keeping with the ancient priestly blessing. So Shabbat shalom, everybody. We have welcomed the presence of Shabbat. Join in the singing of Hine Matov to express our joy of being a community. for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief I come into the presence of still water and I feel above the day blind stars waiting with their light. And for a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. We experience that freedom and that sense of connectedness with all that there is as we affirm the unity of God. Let us join in the recitation and chanting of the Shema and the Be'ahavta. <laughs> Oh, 
angels in the Shabbat evening service is the verse, the collection of verses from the Torah that celebrates Shabbat as a symbol of the covenant that binds the generations. And we sing now the words of Mishamru, and they follow and sing along on page 46 of Sikri Lev Shalom. that might set the tone for this moment. Remind us that may we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those who are most vulnerable. May we who have had to cancel our trips remember those that have no safe place to go. May we who settle in for quarantine at home Remember those who have no homes. And as fear grips our country and the world, let us choose love. Love is the antidote to fear. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find ways to be loving, to reach out with God's embrace to our neighbors, to our Let us join in singing the Misha Beira, a prayer for healing. You will find the words printed on the margin of page 173, the left side of the page. <laughs> Thank you. 
let us uh, still our minds and spend a few moments in silence as we either recite the words of tradition that begin on page 47. You may rise or you may remain seated as you offer also the prayer that is in your own heart. And then we will conclude at this moment of the service by singing Ose Shalom, a prayer Was the source of peace in the universe, grant peace to us, to the household of Israel, and to all humanity, and let us say, Amen. are sustained not only by the people with whom we live, by, but by the memories of those who came before, before us, with whom we shared love, with whom we helped to build the world, and who built the world for us to inherit. So at this moment, we remember loved ones who live with us in memory, and we invite those who would care to do so to rise as we recite the words of the mourners Kaddish, you may follow on page 58. Yit Kadal, ve Yit Kadash, Shemei Rama. Amen. Ve Olma divra ki ute, ve Yamlik malkute, ve Kaye Kon, u Yome Kon, u Kaye de Kol Beit Israel, ba Agala, u Bisman Karib, ve Yiru Amen. Yehe Shemei Rama, ve Morach, ve Olam, u Yomei Olmaya. Yit Barach, Veishtalach, Veitwar, Veitroman, Veit Nase, Veit Hadar, Veit Ale, Veit Halal, Shemei de Kutsha, Veikru, Veila, Minkol, Birkata, Veshirata, Tushpekata, Vevehemata, Da Amiram, Vealma, Veinru, Amen. Yehei, Shamar Rabam in Shemaya, Vechaim, Aleinu, Veal Kol Israel, Veinru, Amen. Ose Shalom, Libromal, Uya, Se Shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel ve'imru. Amen. Amen. May the source of peace grant comfort to all who are bereaved and peace to the household of Israel and to all humanity. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We are going to conclude the, this service in a few moments with the words of a Hasidic song attributed to the great sage Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav, 
It reminds us that in times of anxiety, in times of doubt, and in times of uncertainty, the most important thing is to not fear, but to reach out to one another and to take the necessary steps to get to the other side of the bridge together. One of the most oft stated commandments in the Hebrew Bible, in the Tanakh, is the expression al tira, do not be afraid. And this is our hope tonight, as we conclude with the words of Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlaff. You may follow uh, the words of that song in a few moments after a closing benediction on page 82. I'd like us to leave this Shabbat experience tonight uh, as a congregation, as a community, with a mandate, with a hope. We still have an opportunity to communicate love and light, even as we practice social distancing. We can check in with each other. We can call the people who don't have family nearby. We can do a mitzvah, donate to food pantries, look for ways to support the police and fire departments, be considerate and grateful to the medical staff and professionals who are caring for us. Be patient when lines are long and don't hoard, leave some for others. Bring a taste of the extraordinary into the routine. Teach your children a new skill while you're spending time with them at home. Tell them stories of the good old days. Take a walk, do some exercise, take a deep breath. Don't rush, there is nowhere to go. Pray, laugh, and wash your hands. Stay safe, stay safe and stay well, dear ones. Kol ha'olam kulo. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the peace of Shabbat.